Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we are officially getting into the Christmas spirit today. I am even wearing my Christmas PJs. Yeah, we are about to head out because my apartment is not fully decked out and Christmas decor and that's what I want to go for this year. I think I'm going to stick with the same theme I did last year and that's like a neutral beige. I really wanted to go for like all red and green but I just wanted to just use some of my stuff from last year instead of like completely completely buying new Christmas decor. So other than that, we are going to go out. Today is Thursday, so Starbucks is giving out a free red reusable cup, but it's already like 11.30. So I'm pretty sure all the red cups are already like sold out. I'm obviously too late for that because like I said, it's already 11.30, but I'm hoping that they still have it. I just woke up a little bit late this morning hopefully some of my starbucks locations still have it but other than that we're also going to get starbucks because that sounds so good and it's been so cold here in north carolina but yeah i'm going to stop talking now and we're going to head on out and do some shopping all right so we're going to do a quick ootd so the sweater is from h&m jeans are from levi's and of course my ugg tasman slippers i always wear these babe where's your outfit from one two three go <laughs> No face. Yeah. <laughs> the jeans are joggers. You got it for me for Christmas. Yeah. So I don't know where. Yeah. Socks. I, I think the uh, khakis <laughs> are from Hollister. I don't know. Hollister? But yeah, we are. <laughs> this is our outfit of the day. Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. All right, so before we head out, I just wanted to show you guys like all of the Christmas decor we have out so far. So we have our stockings, J for Jeffrey, my boyfriend, A for me. And then um, walking over here, we just have our sad, sad, non-fluffed up Christmas tree. I think I might go buy some garland to like fill in the empty spaces right here just because it doesn't really look that cute. And I have this tree for about four years now, so um, I really need an upgrade, but I mean... It's still in good condition, so I'm going to keep it, but I really just want to fill in those empty spots. Plus, I don't think I'm going to put ornaments on it this year. I don't know why. I just really, really like the simplicity and how beautiful and simple it looks already. But yeah, and then I just have this little um, pine decoration right here from Target that I got last year. And then over here, I just have this little, um, what is it? called a toothbrush or whatever scrub bottle cork whatever you know what i mean um but yeah i got this from target last year yeah that pretty much concludes my christmas decoration for our apartment so yeah it's kind of sad i really need to get like i, I really want to get a, a tree collar for the christmas tree and then i also need to get christmas I need to get some wrapping paper because I am ready to go Christmas shopping for my family and just go ahead and put all the presents under the Christmas tree. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on now and officially head out. So yeah, I'll see you guys whenever we get to Target. This is cute. I think I could put this in the bathroom and then get like one of those little houses, but I'm not too sure. I really like both of these though.
You guys, I am freaking dying at this Target store gingerbread house. That is so hilarious. <laughs> I literally just saw this star. It's perfect for a Christmas tree topper. So I'm gonna get this one. So I see some tree color here, but I'm not really feeling any of these. I feel like this one's too bold. It's too black and it's too dark for my aesthetic. I really wanted that white felt one, but it was affordable but i feel like it's too white um i was really digging this one but this one is obviously too big for my tree so i'm going to pass up on that one They're so cute. Glitter wrapping paper. Love that. Oh, I love this. That is so cute. Thinking about doing brown wrapping paper this year, maybe adding a cute ribbon to it. I'm not too sure, but I'm really feeling this brown paper again. Um, I did it two years ago, I believe, and I really liked how it turned out. So we just got out of Target and it was definitely a good trip. I found a lot of good items and I can't wait to show you guys. But I'm still not satisfied because I still want to pick up a few more things. I'm going to go to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Again, I'm still looking for a tree collar and then I'm still looking for a garland for our Christmas tree, which I think I might have to go to Hobby Lobby for that. They always have good deals and all. There was something else I was trying to look for, but um, it will click to my mind. Once I go to Home Goods, it'll probably click in my mind. But yeah, we're gonna head to Home Goods now, so I'll see you guys whenever we get there. We're back home! I'm so excited to show you guys everything that we got. So I probably sat in the gift wrapping aisle for about 30 minutes deciding which theme and what kind of style I wanted to go for. I got this green wrapping paper. It's super shiny and I really like it. And it just says Merry and Bright on there with this beautiful like cursive font. And then I just went with this brown paper bag like um, wrapping paper and I really like this style because it's just very very simple and neutral and I feel like it matches everything. Jeffrey and I decided to pick up this gingerbread house that we do every single year. I mean it's always a fail but we decided to do something different and we got the holiday barn one. I ran out but I did get a new table runner to fit with the holiday theme. I also picked up some gift tag stickers and I did pick up the Christmas tree uh, ceramic plate from the bullseye playground section so I think I'm going to put this in my kitchen and use it as like a spoon holder whenever I do cook and then I picked up this two-pack riser I'm going to put one in my kitchen and then also one in the bathroom I really like how they designed it and set it up like that I think that's really cute that's exactly what I'm going to go for which is why I got this little house to go with it. I'm gonna put this in the bathroom with it and I really like it because there's a little light switch in here so whenever you do turn it on, it turns on like that. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this garland. And then you guys did see this beautiful knit star. I think it's so cute. I love this aesthetic. That concludes everything from my Target haul. I didn't find anything from Home Goods, which was really disappointing. And then I also went to Kirk's Land, which was also disappointing. And then we went to TJ Maxx, which was also disappointing. I couldn't really find much, but I think I'm satisfied with everything that I got so far. And then I did pick up three garlands. I think they're about six feet long. 
Um, like I said, I'm going to use the garlands to stuff it into my tree to make it look really full and nice. And you guys, Hobby Lobby was having a freaking sale today. Like, Jeffrey and I, we walked in, into Hobby Lobby where the Christmas section was, and it was like wiped out. There was nothing left, but there was just a bunch of garlands and wreath. So I was like really happy to see this and one garland was only six dollars everything was 60 to 70 percent off which was insane but yeah i was disappointed that i couldn't really find anything um there but um yeah i got my garlands which i'm really happy about so i think i'm going to go ahead and just kind of place everything where it belongs so let's roll this mini montage of me decorating the place it feels just like a dream. Nothing to do, just you and me I usually trip over things like this Just glad it's not a one-time kiss, babe I put my heart on the line Showed me how to love With every single time tired but I'm really happy with how the place turned out I feel like you guys are so far but tonight we are also going to be making the gingerbread house which I am so excited and I think we're going to just stay in and watch some Christmas movies and then bake some cookies <laughs> While we let the cookies bake, we are going to start on our little holiday barn gingerbread kit while listening to some Christmas music. taking a little bit longer than expected but the cookies are done they smell so good i'm going to let them cool down first and then we'll get ready to eat them but yeah i didn't think the gingerbread house was gonna take this long like we haven't even passed like step three and that was for it to just to paint the house but yeah this is how it looks like it doesn't really look like the photo i will show you guys the ending result because i feel like it will turn out so cute so yeah, we're just going to wait for that to dry. Hey, our house don't look bad. Yeah, so. that's me. <laughs> yeah, it don't show it bad. Yeah. Bad. All right, that's so it. we just completed our gingerbread house, and it's kind of broken. <laughs> <laughs> we broke it while we were like trying to fix it, but. Yeah, I am going to go ahead and end off today's vlog right here. I really hope you guys enjoy. Also, let me know what more like. Let me know what other Christmas videos you guys want me to do. I do have a gift, a Christmas gift idea video coming out soon. But yeah, other than that, let me know what else you guys want to see for the holiday season. I really hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!
네가 돌아볼 때마다 고백 연습하는 나 I just wanna make you